Hello everyone. Now we will go for our next debugging exercise or challenge. And the major motto of this playlist is to increase our debugging skills. Now, in this case, we will take the example of standard transaction codes. In real projects, maximum time what is happening functional will come to you and tell that in this particular standard transaction code, I'm getting this error. So can you please debug and check from where this particular error is coming? Because as functional knows, yes, with the help of debugging, you can give the answer in a quicker manner why, why this particular error is coming. And yes, we can easily, easily find out with the help of debugging features why, why that particular error is coming. Many times when the configuration is missing in the system and functional comes to us, can you please tell, yes, we need to maintain the entry into which particular table so at that point also with the help of debugging, you can easily, easily find and give the solution to the functional person. Okay, you need to maintain the entry into this particular table. So what we will do, we will take an example and you will use this particular thing so many times to identify from where what is the position of that particular error from where that particular error is coming? Suppose I will go to MM01 transaction code. We all know MM01, we can create a material. We provided industry sector, suppose industry sector pharmaceuticals, material type, suppose we took raw material. Suppose functional is creating the material through MM01 and functional choose basic data one. Functional provided the description and functional provided the unit of measurement kg. And functional is simply, simply going for the same. Whenever functional went for the save button, but functional is saying unit of measure kg is not allowed. Functional is getting this error. Yes, it might be the case someone did something for the practice purpose. Many times when a bad persons or a bad technical persons are doing the practice, they will write some code. They will do some enhancement but they forgot to remove that particular code. And because of that also, functional also struggles some at, at that point of time. So in that case, or if functional is getting some error, how we can tell functional that, okay, this is the particular thing which is missing in the system. So how we can reach up to that error? Whenever you are getting the error, just to double click on the error. Whenever you will double click on the error, you will get the technical information of that error. It's always, always a golden clue. Just double click on the error and get the technical information of the error. We all know whenever we are getting some message, what are the message parts? We have message number, message class, and we are getting error message. So it means error is message type. So we always has message type, message class, message number. If you know, what is the transaction code for message class? We have SC91 transaction code. So we have always message class, and message number. And yes, we can go for the type of the message depends upon the requirement. Type means error, information, success. 
now now we when we double click on to this error message it is giving us this information now what it is saying z m s g it is a message class whatever you got the first it will be message class in this message class we have this particular message number this particular message number you can go to this message class and check this message number we all know sc91 is that transaction code if i will go again what is the message class zmsg and what is the message number 000 we will display unit of measure kg is not allowed are we getting this message yes we are getting this message now how we will identify in mm01 from where or why this particular error is coming it is very difficult if you will not debug how you will go to lakhs lines of code of mm01 and check from where where this particular error is coming so rather than manually we will simply use the debugging skills we will with the help of debugging in quick manner we will find out from where this particular message is coming so what we will do we we'll simply simply go to mm01 we will go for industry sector material type we will choose basic data i will give the description unit of measurement kg now we need to go to debugging mode we all know what is that transaction code for that debugging slash h now just simply simply go for save we entered into debugging mode now this mm01 has so many lines of code now how we can reach up to that particular message what was the message class z m s g what is the message number 000 and we all know that we can put a break point directly on a message also so how we will put the break point and it's an extremely important feature it will help you to find the solution very very easily just go for break points break point at you want to put the break point on what message what is the message id or message class zmsg what the message number 000 and what is the message type we got error message press enter and just do f8 and system will automatically stop there from where that particular error is coming and have you seen i directly stop there from here this particular error is coming the logic is written if unit of measurement is kg we have written a logic to give the error so we will simply tell the functional person someone written the logic yes if you see this particular thing is a part of this z class c class it means we did the enhancement in sap logic i told many times a bap technical persons also do these kinds of things they will do something from the learning perspective and because of that others will also face the issues at that point of time from the learning perspective yes i implemented the body and because of that others are struggling so for you it's a quick action it's a quick we can easily easily find the solution we can simply put a break point on the particular message and yes we can go for the solution 
So what we will do, I'll simply go for this class. This is the class and I will comment the code. I can go from here also. I will open the code in a new window. I will simply, simply go to change mode and I will comment this code. Because we have written this logic. This is our Z class. Now, if I will go to MM01, now the logic is commented. Now functional or whenever you will create the material using KG. Now you can see no error is coming. Same thing is for functional CS. If they want to identify, yes, they want to maintain the entry into which particular table they are getting the error. So they will come to you. Okay, can you please debug and check what is the table where the configuration is missing? So we'll simply put a breakpoint on the message and it will take us to that position itself from where that particular error is coming. Very, very useful feature in terms of debugging. So what is the summary of the video? Whenever you are getting a particular message, so how you can identify that from where that particular message is coming? Firstly, check the message class and message number. Go to debugging mode and put a breakpoint on the, that particular message class and message number. System will stop there and you will easily, easily identify that because of that reason, the error is coming. So that's all in this debugging challenge. Thank you.